I have a good friend named RD. He owns a company called Wires Only. We do a lot of business together. He sells a lot of cars to a lot of different clients. And he hit me up and, and this was like one of those special projects where he needed my help. This was a car he took in on trade and was like, Ryan, I need to, I need to give this car a refresh so I can sell it. And I'm like, all right, what is it? And he's like, it's a Bugatti. <laughs> so the car showed up. I looked at it and it was like, this is the Mansuri Bugatti. Like everybody knows this car. Like this car's famous. Like, okay, let's, let's turn some heat up on this. So we decided to sand down all the carbon fiber and give it a satin finish. And then we wanna paint the car a Nardo gray. These are those bills that people are like, are you guys sure you can paint a Bugatti? Are you sure you're able to put it back together? And, it, and it's scary. I mean, you're taking apart a million dollar car and it's in a million pieces and then you gotta put it back together and it's gotta look like the factory did it. So I was up for the challenge. I told RD, I got your back, let's get it done. So we got this Bugatti Veyron and it's not just a regular Veyron, it's a Mansory Edition Veyron, which half of the body is carbon fiber. Um, the client requested to have a Nardo gray and blue accent. I think I'm gonna go with the Nardo exterior and blue interior. So step one on this build is breaking it down. So everything was bagged, tagged, the car was broken down and then it was time to get it into the body shop. Once it went into the body shop, we sanded down all the carbon fiber first, got that re-clear coated, and we did it satin this time instead of the glossy carbon that it had before. And then it was time to paint the body. Ya estamos listos, vamos a hacer el color del Bugatti, que es un Nardo Grey. Vamos a usar este Siler lo vamos a rebajar a blanco con negro para que nos dé un color gris muy cerca a la base. And then we painted the calipers blue. The reason we painted the calipers blue was really to complement the interior blue. So the original interior colorway was a black and white. We chose to go Bugatti for it. Javier sewed everything by hand and made this interior look like it was brand new off the showroom floor. We're gonna still, you know, go with the piping, with the top stitch, diamonds go away. And the main thing is gonna be the insert. I came up with its uh, pattern with the personal touches, I think the customer is gonna love it. You can see I follow in the same pattern. This is the European style. You need to stitch each edge of the leather and you cannot have any gap or looseness on the leather. That's why it's more meticulous. So then it was time for final assembly. And when you start seeing this car come together, I mean, the colorways, the, the, the carbon, the wheels, because we took the aftermarket wheels and put the factory wheels back on it and painted those to match. It really came together like a beautiful art piece. Just plug it in all the components and we had to be very careful to don't scratch the, the paint on the, on the carbon fiber. That's the challenge. Don't scratch the, the paint or the leather. We're tying in the trim color to the names all throughout the car, and tying in Bugatti and gray 
finish off the whole car. So when we stand back and we look at this build and to match the level of craftsmanship that Bugatti does and then take it a step further and reimagine it, it really shows West Coast Customs as a team can do anything.